Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Schwarzwald Gold, Special Beer, Tropel. Um, I had a little trouble getting some information on this because the website was hard to figure out, but it was sent to me by Canopus on YouTube, Arthur, uh, Art, Arthur <laughs> in Germany. He sent me 14 beers, 11 of which survived the accident. <laughs> Not the accident I caused, but the shipper. But anyway, um, it's 10% alcohol. There is a website for it. It's uh, not too user friendly. Uh, it says Zutaten Wasser, Weizen Malts, Gersten Malts, and Hopfen. That means wheat, barley, and hops. So they said typically a Trapel um, in German is different than one from Belgium, okay? Because in Germany they base it as a wheat beer. Conrad Seidel, who does reviews, <coughs> he's in Germany and doesn't ever answer comments, but he did a review of this. That's the only one I saw, and he he liked it. Schwarzwald, that's the Black Forest Gold. Okay, apparently this is contract brewed. Brewed according to the Reinheitsgebot of 1560. 11.2 um, ounce bottle, 330 milliliters. There are no, there's no page for this on Beer Advocate, okay, that I could find. There are 11, 11 reviews for it on um, Rate Beer, just 11, barely enough to even get a, give it a score. And they're saying 38 out of 100, not good, and 16 out of 100 for the style. But I know Arthur wanted me to try it, so I'm curious to check it out. Don't see any smoke whatsoever. I've had many Belgian tropels. Mm, don't see any cake stuff at the bottom. I'm already smelling banana. From this distance, I'm smelling strong banana from the wheat, uh, from the yeast. Um, not much of a head, but it's a pretty wide brim chalice or schooner here. <laughs> from Miller Light. Um, it's murky, hazy. Um, can't see through it. It's orange, I guess you call that. Orange gold. With the light coming at it, it's more orange. Looking at it, it's more gold. Okay. Don't see a whole lot of bubbles. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. It doesn't really remind me of anything, necessarily. Thank you, Arthur Kulik. Uh, it is a, a strong banana aroma. Of course it's not made with any of that. It's, there's no adjuncts in it, but <coughs> the yeast gives it that banana bubble gum type thing. It's really strange if you're not used to it. A um, little bit of grain husk I think in the background. Well, 10% alcohol. Wow. I wonder if it's as good as Dog Bite High Gravity from Rochester, New York, Genesee Brewing. I got a feeling it'd be way better than that atrocity. Which thankfully did not last long in Louisiana. Um, not that I would have repurchased it. Um, it's not too complex in the flavor. The flavor is just. Barley malt, wheat, you know, so it's very bready. There's a little light 
fruits like apple, figs, and even more so dates. Little of the grain husk. Um, <clears throat> the body is medium to heavy and almost straight up heavy. I'm sure the calorie count is quite good on this, quite high. The finish is heading toward dry. The taste, there's, a, there's some sweetness in the flavor. There's not a lot of bitterness. I'm sure that, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure really by taste that the IBU must not be too high. These wheat beers <coughs> aren't usually. So it's a Weizenbach, a wheat bock. I'm thinking the IBU must be around 12. It may be higher, but you can't perceive it oftentimes with the high gravity box. And, and Seidel, Conrad Seidel was saying that he thinks Trapel comes from um, Tripoli. Well, he said that's a rumor, but he thinks it actually comes from Triple Lock. commenting on the last video because I've never gotten a response ever. <laughs> you say, boy, you're really ranting on that, huh? I'm, a, I'm ranting on it a little bit because uh, this is a dark brown, greenish brown, olive green brown bottle. Because I always try to answer everybody, all right? Everybody, except unless you're just making a stupid comment, you know, like, you know, a troll comment, like, you're an idiot, why don't you jump off a bridge? Something like that. You get those occasionally, but if it's a good, intelligent comment, even if it's critical, I answer it. Mm. I wish that was the case with all the video reviews, but it's frankly not. Um, I'm not going to read this whole back here. It's I don't ever do that because to me it's boring to watch somebody read these labels, and I don't want to bore you. So I'll post a link. I'm, trying to start posting links to the company's websites. It'd be nice if I could go back for all my videos, but how would I have time for that? So, I think it's much better than the 11 rating average they're giving it. I'm going to say, you know, Saito didn't give, he doesn't, he doesn't usually give rate ratings. He'll just always do really good beers, right? So he's always going to say, oh, it's so good. He's always doing, you know, top-notch stuff. So consequently, it's going to be be the same rating basically. Nothing wrong with that, but it's starting to develop a complexity to it, like it's starting to come more alive. Like lemon and orange peel. I don't know what I don't like to make like I, I, I'm not going to give a bunch of descriptors. I'm just going to say it's really, it, it improves, and you might say that's the alcohol hitting you. It could be, because uh, that's it's a lot. So I'm going to give it a solid A, most excellent, laissez les bon temps relay, a most excellent lapel from Germany. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to New Orleans.